Right, uh, how's everybody doing? We have an iPhone SE 2020, which is uh, it has a uh, cracked screen. This has the same uh, screen as the iPhone 8, so SE 2020. So let's get starting replacing the screen. We took out the pentalobe screws. We place the, the the phone on the uh, on a heat mat. So now we'll uh, take out the screen. Place the eagle blade here, gently. Okay, just like that, a bit of ISO, ISSMO, okay. Here we go. With a little bit of ISO, this was very easy to to take off. Okay, let's put this blade aside. All right. We'll disconnect the battery by taking the four Phillips screws. Okay, put them aside, but just make sure that you know where you took them out from because they're not the same. Okay, as you can see, the top ones are longer. Okay. Remove the plate. There you go. Now we'll disconnect the battery. Okay. Disconnect the LCD. Now we'll remove the the rear camera plate. That little guy fell inside. Okay. Phillips screw then the second one on the top there these are non-magnetic that's why they fell they are not non-magnetic screws around the camera so it doesn't interfere okay then we got one third one right here all right One more right here. Okay. Let's take this out. This plate. Normally it's three screws. I took one by mistake, which you can see is three of them. But one, it's actually from the antenna, but can easily be mistaken. So let's put this back into place. Right here. There you go. Put this back. There you go. Okay, now we remove the rear camera flex. There you go. The screen is off. 
put that aside. Now we'll take off the home button using tri points, screwdriver. Two, three, and four here. Okay, we we'll remove the plate. Disconnect the home button using a spudger. All right, just like that. And now, what I like to do. To take, you have to be really careful with the home button because the the flex is very very fragile. So what I like to do, take a plastic card, just dip the corner in ISO, and insert right here. There you go, just go gentle underneath the flex, if we could see. Easy, okay, cool. And it's out. And this, you just push it down. I mean, that's what... Push it down, come on. Okay. Push it down. Alright, so this is the home button from underneath you just okay slide it in. Okay, here it is. If you could see, alright, this is the home button. Okay, put that aside. Now we'll move the rear camera bracket. This has three screws on the bottom. Be careful what you put on, because the problem is, if you put a longer one where a short one should go, then it could uh, leave a mark on the LCD, on this part, on the frame. It could leave a mark there, here if the screw is too long. One at the top. And one more. I feel like I need to put more magnets in here. Let's do that. There you go. I just put three magnets. There you go. Now we move the bracket. Place it there. We have one more flex screw right here. Okay. Move the speaker, the ear speaker. And now we will move the there you go. The ear speaker flex. You have to be gentle with this because this is very very fragile and if you break it you're gonna need a new one I like to use this uh, there you go I like to use my um, there you go my tweezers okay there you have it is out place it aside we can move this 
There you go. There's like a gasket that will go on the front camera sensor. Okay, let's see if we can place it back. Right in there. There you go. We'll try to place this directly on the new LCD. Because that's very important. So let's do that now. Okay, here we are, right in there. Just like that. Okay. That's very important. All right. This is again an XO7 LCD which uh, has lifetime warranty. Now we'll uh, place the home button back in into this one okay lift this the home button flex connector okay there you go line it up just like that perfect Connect it right there. Nice. We'll put the bracket back. There you go. Line it up. It has a uh, right here, has like a you know, hole where we'll line up right in there. Place the screws back. This again are tri points screws. Second one in the home button. Okay. Third and fourth. Third one. And fourth one. Cool. Now let's place the front cam. I'm sorry, the rear cam. No, the front cam. Okay. Sorry about that. Place it in these two holes here. Cool. Okay. All right, line it up nicely so it falls into place. Okay, cool. We'll put the ear speaker back, just like that. Front camera in and the brackets. Okay.
remember wh where you took each screw from because like I said some are longer okay and you could puncture the frame of the screen on the front if you put a, a longer screw where the short one should go okay two more and then one last one on the flex right here okay now what we'll do we'll uh, transfer the Truton using the JC programmer we read the data okay that I read correctly this is again to transfer the functionality okay of the original and also the Truton to the new screen that we're replacing with connect right yes As you can see, the data was transferred correctly. Okay, that aside. Now let's connect and test the new screen. Trying to connect the ear flex, ear speaker, and front camera flex. Okay, we did that. Now we'll connect the LCD flex. Okay, let's see. Turn on the phone. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Let's see. Okay. On button functions, normal. Beautiful. Truton is on, we transfer it. Okay. All right, now let's turn it off. What is left to do? We'll uh, clean the frame and then we'll apply the We'll apply a new seal and then we test and close the phone. We apply the adhesive seal. Okay. But first we put Tessa tape. I'm sorry, Tessa adhesive, adhesive uh, promoter. Okay around the edges so the adhesive uh, waterproof adhesive could stick uh, better okay as you can see it comes out nice and easy the film now we'll place the screen on the new screen
Okay. LCD. Flex. It's good to work with gloves, but you know, I'm used to working without, so you kind of, I get the feel with where everything is, you know. So I would, gloves becomes a bit more. Okay. Turn it on. Boots up nicely. Touch. through tone which we transfer check Wi-Fi battery health Wi-Fi Okay, so now we close it, shut, shut, shut off the phone. Then we place the brackets back. They got first we put the earpiece, the front camera flex. Now remember these are non magnetic screws because of the front camera, so it doesn't interfere. That's why these screws are non magnetic. Okay. And the last one, the top here in the corner. Okay. The LCD and battery bracket. Two, three, they all Phillips screws, and four. Okay, we inspect to make sure that we have not left any screws to damage the LCD from the inside. Okay, and now we close the phone. Just like that. We need to close it, I mean to shut it off. Before we close it, okay. Let's 
say something is quite not right. There you go. There you go. These days sit so perfectly in, that's why it's <laughs> sometimes this this XO7 screens. That's why you know they they fit spot on, you know. That's why sometimes it's hard to line up. But finally did it. Okay. All right. Let's see. Turn it on. Perfect front cam. Turn it off again. And we'll place the pentalop screws back. one and two perfect and there you have it another quality repair by uh, my iPhone repair don't forget to like and uh, subscribe Thank you for watching.